iOS 13.4, the official version has been released. You can see here for the iPhone 11, it comes in at 980.7 megabytes on the download. Now, of course that will vary. You can see right here, this is the 11 Pro Max and this one's slightly more at 983. So the size of the update will depend on your particular phone. Okay, so you can see I have 24.83 gigabytes available before we do the update. Okay, so it says iOS 13.4 will introduce new Memoji stickers and iCloud Drive folder sharing from the files app but if we go to learn more there's a lot in this update including those stickers we talked about lots going on with files mail also the app store and apple arcade is getting tons of updates as well as carplay augmented reality and keyboard let me go ahead and hit update and i'll be back when the update is finished installing so i'm a few minutes in here on the update the iphone 11 not taking that long but keep in mind depending on your phone your network, it could take a lot longer. So it's kind of hard to give you an exact time it takes to update, but this one should take around 10 to 15 minutes. And so that took about 15 to 20 minutes. And you can see it says your iPhone has been updated to iOS 13.4. So let's look at one of the first cool features of 13.4, the new Memoji stickers. Now, if you've watched beta videos, you've probably seen these already, but you could see there's a new one right there, the party face. Also, the hands pressed together. So, so you can see it right there and many, many more in here. So lots of new Memoji stickers within this update. Yeah, that's my Memoji right there sticker with the little AirPods going on. And it doesn't feel like a gimmick, you know? It's starting to get really good. Many different ways to use this. Pretty awesome. Now also I wanna point out, we did get a slight improvement in storage, 24.86 available. So a slight bump there in the storage department. So the official build number for 13.4 is 17E255 here. Another new feature in this update is the ability to share your iCloud Drive folder. So you could see right there, that's new in the iOS 13.4. And within files, you do have controls to limit access to only people you're gonna invite to this app. So that's another new feature. And there's improved permissions in who's gonna be able to view and download these files within files. So a nice update if you use this app. I mean, I don't use it much, but if you do, you're probably gonna like 13.4. What's awesome about iOS 13.4, this is one of the features I like the most, is that if you buy you know, anything on the arcade over here, a game or something, it's gonna have universal it's gonna have universal purchase support. So you can have one purchase and you should be able to access it on your iPad, your Mac, your Apple TV, stuff like that. That's great. We don't wanna be buying apps multiple times. That's annoying. So universal purchase support within Apple Arcade for 13.4. So when it comes to CarPlay, you have some supports. I personally use this in my car as well but you have third-party navigation app support now. So maybe you're gonna see more ability to use different apps besides just Google Maps and Apple Maps. I'll be checking that out later. But also in confirmation appears on the CarPlay dashboard. So there's a couple updates coming to CarPlay as well. I know a lot of you probably aren't using this, but if you are, you're gonna enjoy 13.4. It's just improving on it a little bit more. And so we also have the update in mail where now you can compose, reply, all this stuff at the bottom. Now it seems silly, but this actually wasn't available in the prior iOS version. And I'm so happy it's here now because it just makes the mail app seem unfinished to me. And this might not matter to you if you are using a third party app. And also there's some improvements to, you know, responding to encrypted emails within 13.4 as well. Again, this stuff is probably only gonna affect you if you use the Apple Mail app. Not everyone does, but if you do, it's a good update to go to 13.4 for you. So here's my Geekbench score for 13.3.1, 1335 on the single, 3507 on the multi-core score. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and run another Geekbench here now that we are on 13.4 to see if we do get any upgrade in that score. And while that's running, let's take a look at the laundry list of features that come to iOS 13. Point four in terms of bug fixes. So you can see adds a status bar indicator when VPN has disconnected iPhones with all screen displays, fixes a issue in camera where the viewfinder would appear as black after launch. I'm sure you've had that one happen. Addresses an issue where photos may appear to use excess storage. We don't want use it. We don't want to be using up excess storage, do we? You can see this so many, you can pause and read them 
if you like, but resolves an issue where mail may crash when tapping the share button. I mean, lots of little bug fixes here, so this is a definite upgrade recommendation, I would say. Addresses an issue in Safari web pages may not be inverted when both dark mode and smart invert are active. So Apple is just cleaning up shop here on 13.4, and this may be one of the last major updates until we see 14 in just a couple months. To skip out this update would just be silly at this point. I think there's plenty of reasons to go ahead and update to this version. Now, of course, you're not gonna get any new wallpapers, anything visually different. Again, iOS is all about refinement and continuing to improve on iOS 13. So don't expect any major changes like that. There's not gonna be many in this update, but it is cleaning up a lot of stuff that makes the overall experience definitely less buggy and just better overall. And so here is the final Geekbench score on 13.4. You can see definitely not that much different from what we've seen on 13.3.1. As a matter of fact, that looks lower than 13.3.1. So I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe it's maybe it's because the phone just updated. We'll see how it looks in a couple of days. I'll be running more speed tests with this phone. But overall, you know, I think this is a definite upgrade. Definitely go to 13.4 if you want the new emojis, you want the improvements to mail. A lot of bug fixes here within 13.4 and there's a lot more I didn't cover in this video anything I missed that you think is important go ahead and drop it down below so the community can read about that and let me know your thoughts so far on 13.4 is it working out for you are you having issues downloading let us know in the comments section as always thanks for watching be safe out there enjoy 13.4 I will have some iPad Pro the new one coming soon as well as 14 not that far away just a couple of months so I'll catch you on the next episode thank you very much for watching be sure to be well and peace